Today, we're watching a world record performance during round two of the solo victory cash cup. Pro player Reet drops 20 eliminations during round two, which includes the top 7,500 players. And the only way to earn in this tournament is if you get the victory royale. So this match is super stacked. The only other player to do something like this was FSTK when he dropped 20 eliminations, but he did not record his game, so we're reacting to Reet. So in the beginning, he gets a quick elimination, and now he's getting pressed by this other player. And keep in mind, you only get three games when you're playing in the Solo Victory Cup. So everyone is playing for the win. There's no point in dropping 20 eliminations if you don't win. So I guess we'll have so to wait and fun. see if yeah, no, Reet actually good. wins this game with or without 20 limbs. Um, so the piece of control right there is yeah. crazy. And if you guys didn't know, Reet actually plays on controller. Uh, so yeah. his level of building and piece it's control stuff, is like even more edit. impressive because you know it is a little bit harder to build and edit fast Whoa. on controller. But he shows that he's not going to let that stop him. Um, he's playing very aggressive. And honestly, I'm kind of surprised that he's playing this aggressive just because of the fact that at any point, he could get 50 50 or a pump doesn't go his way. Right there, you just saw him miss his pump shot. The other player nearly takes like him out. But, I mean, he's a pro player. He has hundreds <laughs> he of thousands earned. So he's not phased or nervous by this. He's he just going to push so every it's single like player. One, he's going for their wall he's takes. So um, and he's going to get a lot of these walls. He is playing on lower ping. Right there, you can see that he took his time with that shot to make sure that he finished off his opponent. Um, which is not something we usually see people do. People are usually going to rush that shot. Now, surprisingly, he is using the thermal oh, like, bro, AR. Um, I'm not sure if, if that's his, like, preference. Uh, he does have yeah, the shotgun and bro. the flapjack. This player has Buddy, uh, team, the slurp ticking, but We're it's not going to be enough. enough. And now he has an extra slurp to work with. Great. He's going to go for the island, um, and the island's going to give him some golden shotguns. I'm wondering, though... If he's going to prefer to use the drum shotgun. I actually don't think he will. I think he's going to keep the breacher shotgun. And this is exactly why. Now, the breacher shotgun did get nerfed at some that. point. But I don't know if it's actually nerfed in this video. Because he is one-shotting all of these walls. And the breacher shotgun can legendary. still one-shot walls. Yeah. But it can't wow. one-shot walls that are fully built unless they're wood. Um, but yeah, look, he's going to pickaxe this guy. That's right. very disrespectful. I, I, uh, I don't know if he even ends up capturing the uh, island. I think he does. But you can see just how accurate he is with the breacher and just how dangerous it is because he's just using this thing to take every single wall instantly. And not a lot of people like using the breacher shotgun because, first of all, it's hard to aim with this thing. Um, it has a very, very like difficult uh, uh, reticle to aim with, um, especially when you're jumping and hip firing. So most players do not use it. And because most players don't use it, they don't expect you to walk through their walls just yeah, like he just did and pull okay. out the flapjack to finish that player off. Another guy right there, he's in his box. Reed's going to just be tapping these walls. Full box on this guy. He misses that pump. Like I said, even though Reed's really good, it's still very hard uh, to hit with this pump. It's still very hard. Like um, every time I grab this thing, I always kind of regret yeah, grabbing it. Um, I end up like losing a weird 50 50 be, against an opponent that i should have killed if i had a normal shotgun but when you're a pro player and you're hitting shots like that Man, very consistently like, um uh, well, you're going to justify it using it because it gives you that, that element of surprise like and ball. that extra piece control yeah, that players are just not expecting like, bro, now at this point he has like, nine eliminations like some good shots right there with the thermal <laughs> 35 players still alive. And by the way, these players are going to stay alive. They all are trying to play for the win. So I know they got to be extremely tilted to be being w keyed in late game uh, like this. Like, look at that. He was on him the whole time. These players ha have to be raging to be pushed by a pro player with a breacher shotgun because they're not expecting it. Right there, he tries to get that sneaky shot. Finds this guy. Doesn't hit the shot. Other guy gets pressured. He's, he's waiting. He's he, he got a good shot on him right there. 100 damage and another 100. Another player presses Reet to try to take advantage of the situation. But you can see how good the Breacher is right here. He's able to kind of just break through the enemy builds. Now he has this guy stuck in a cone. There's the quick hip fire. He is weak. Is he going to go up? Oh, another player right there. You can see how easily this run could have ended. But no, he's going to set this world record right now. He's got the minis. He's got the bigs. He is missing 40 health, and because there is no siphon, it's hard to get your health back, but it looks like he found a med miss right there. Uh, this whole gameplay is him just peace controlling the crap out of these guys, 
and using the breacher to take their walls for free i honestly feel bad for this lobby like what what are they supposed to do any wall he shoots at is breaking instantly and i'm guessing this is why epic ended up nerfing this gun um although it really wasn't being used that well by the casual players it was more the pros that could really abuse this properly um yeah, dude, circle is going to go across have, and there is no like mobility in yeah, this game way, so or shockwaves are only in zero build hey, dude, finds a player just full head, boxes right? him doesn't even bother with anything just full boxes baits him to, to spray another shot two hip fire shots right. to the body with this the thing dub, will yeah. kill anybody does 106 that's 216 getting... gets shot out catches himself 13 limbs into the rotating circle now he can't let this go to a heal off oh i love this he took his time right there it's over for this guy what is this guy gonna do he's in his box nothing he can do that guy had two slurps right, he just he ends up popping him. one he can't let this go to a heal off i mean agree? now he probably can because he has a slurp and a and a med miss but lobby. i guarantee you there's there's players in this lobby that probably have more heals in him because they, they probably have zero kills and they're all going for the heal off catches this guy in the cone does a smart edit right there now re has like four slurps he's gonna carry two plus the mist and the minis now he's unkillable now no matter how much damage he takes he, he can get his health back finds a player and i see reet playing a lot of 2v2 uh you know zone wars so this is where he's really gonna shine when he's getting pressured in the while the zone is moving he has a lot of experience in this and that's why a lot of pro players do uh face off in 2v2 zone wars because it's going to be very applicable to late game scenarios like this uh there we go he gets that kill on the guy in storm doesn't grab the materials there uh, i guess he's just confident enough that he's going to get someone else uh a limb for for more mats because he is running low on mats right now 400 mats sees another player you see that shotgun shot it misses the good thing though is this the shotgun does have range right there he just hits that guy for 180 to the face the good thing is the shotgun has range so even though he's going to miss some, uh, some shots these shots are going to hit a lot harder right now if he didn't have the shotgun shot he would have to be spraying everybody that he ran into uh but because he has the shotgun he can hit people from really far away and catch them with 100 plus damage right there look, look, look. he's gonna shoot this guy out i guarantee you he's gonna shoot this guy out He's got the breacher. He is low on mats. It looks like he might be looking for some heals. But if someone has height and you have the breacher shotgun, you can take height so easily. They're usually held up by one or two things. And you can shoot this thing from really far away and drop them down just like he does right there. So he's looking back for height. He's, he's, he's kind of knocking this player down. His player keeps trying to pop a heal. It's not going to happen. Still, the player's trying to drop, pop a heal. Oh my God, this run could have ended right there. He was out of mats, but he hit a crazy shot. And that slurp, he catches the slurp midair. He's down to nine, nine builds, even less right now. Seven builds. Players are all in storm. <sighs> this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. It could have ended right there. He's going to stay alive. He's going to drop down with the flapjack. Gets the refresh he needs, has the mats now, catches the last player with a headshot. That was absolutely insane. World record performance, but go check out the squad world record that Reet was also involved in right over here.